Hello everyone, uh, my name is Lorenzo Bianchi Ösch. This is a short technical presentation of Mubu Drum. It is a drum machine I designed with Mubu from Ircom, which I have used extensively in many of my projects with any kind of instrument. Piano for this ballet by choreographer Richard Siegel. With the Cora has for this duo with Balakis in Soko. Or an actual drum machine, as in this case with Amira and Safari. The purpose of this presentation is to give an idea of the approach without going into the details of the software. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Frederic Bevilacqua, Riccardo Borghesi and Dimo Schwartz for their suggestion, their collaboration and above all their patience. Mubu Drum is a Max MSP patch. It is a drum machine based on Mubu library from Ircom. It is able to reach a very high level of rhythmical complexity using different approaches. Mubu Drum is a modular system. In this case, we've got here three models that are exactly the same and some global parameters in the low section of the patch. In order to start, you can click on the help button on the lower right of the patch. It will show some hints and explanation for every parameter of the module. Take your time to check it out. In general, the idea is to be able to sequence all available parameters, uh, like velocity, pan, segment choice, speed, attack, release, filtering. There are also modes of operation that increase the complexity of the Mubu drum. Now let's run through some presets built with max internal sounds. Switch on the audio and start the patches engine. At the bottom right of the patch is the preset section. First preset is a reset, so you can use it to clean everything. And let's start with preset number two. This is a preset done with just one sample, but as you can hear, uh, there are a lot of variations already. If you lower the volume of the engines one at a time, you can hear what each module produces. First module, adding the second module, adding the third module, you can of course change the tempo bottom left of the patch. And resync all the models clicking this button. Now let's go through some presets. These are just a few presets. Let's see how to build one from the start. Click help button and preset number one. When you load a folder of sounds, it creates this menu. Choose a sound and it will be loaded, analyzed and segmented. This is the threshold section for segmentation. Here you can see how many segments this threshold produces. With this menu, you choose between automatic and manual behavior. For this example, we choose manual. Raising one fader, it will trigger the first segment. To change the triggered segment, you need to work on the manual pattern construction section. Exploring the segments.
all the triggers go on the same segment like this. If you want a pattern of four segments, you have to increase the size of the multi slider to four. Every parameter follows the same logic. This is the pan pot. This is the step size of the pitch modulation, changing the pitch, modulating the duration of the segments, modulating the speed, Working on the filter section, working on the reverse section, not happy with the filter, keep working on it, I'm working on the other engines now, in order to create a new preset. Let's check now other features. Select Automatic in the menu. We will now explore the automatic way of constructing a pattern. A random engine starts triggering the segments. In the pattern section, you can define the size of the sequences of the segments, which will only have a random starting point. This is a sequence of four segments. This is a sequence of eight segments. Here you can loop a definite quantity Here's a loop of 8 segments, speeding up. Sometimes you want to filter out some segments, there are two ways. First way, select the segment and click on N to delete or Y to insert it. Here I'm building an automatic pattern with just hi-hat sounds. Adding other ideas. Another pattern with just one sample. Let's see another way to deal with segments. Click on the editor button, a new window opens automatically where you can navigate through. The segments organized according to the timber and the volume of each. This makes it much easier to filter segments by family and not by position. This can be very useful. the pattern with the same sample. To create consistent variation within the pattern, let us look at two methods. The first one is the groove section. With this little button I create new grooves. In this case it has created a pattern of six, a pattern of three is formed now. Let's ask for two patterns of four. In this menu, select dynamic groove and raise the volume of the variations. The new sequencer shows additional triggers that animate the groove, as you can already hear. If you want to change the variations, you can open the Groove Editor. Here you can work on pattern generation and the probability of its execution. It's pretty difficult to explain the details of this engine. 
just play with the parameters until you are happy with the result. You can select static groove and you'll be able to draw your pattern. Back to dynamic groove now. I would now like to talk about the second method of producing variation which allows groove segments to be replaced in a consistent and non-random manner. I turn off the groove section and return to the simple pattern. We are going to use the KNN section now. Moving the KNN slider up will start the variations. There is now a 30% chance that the segment of the pattern will be replaced. The criterion by which the new segment to replace the previous one is chosen is the relationship between the loudness of the new segment and the velocity of the pattern. In other words, let's say I put the KNNS chance at 100%. We will get the maximum of variation now, but as you can see, if the velocity is very low, the engine will always choose very soft segments as substitutes. Moving a velocity slider will allow the engine to choose stronger and stronger segments. And I want to remove the open hi-hat segment from the engine choices, for instance. KNN slider follows the same rules as the other parameters. Here I create a pattern of four elements. Here is a pattern with variations of both methods.